How's it going, everyone? This is Shadow Junior 1030, and today I thought I would bring you all another Jurassic World Alive content, and this time I'm going to be showing you all information regarding the next event schedule. Even though that the Raptor Week event schedule is coming to an end, wait until you hear what the next event schedule has to offer. Be sure to not go nowhere because there's a lot to cover. So without any delay, let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you take a look at the screen next to me, the theme for the next event schedule is going to be winter sport. It's going to be from February 1st until the 7th. Let's first go over the future creatures, then we'll go over sorry, towers. From Wednesday to Thursday, you'll have Opportunity Dart, Art Ethereum, Brunt Ethereum, and or Earth Ethereum. They have hybrids. The one I recommend during the most is Brontotherium. Reason because it spawns less and then wild the other ones. Friday to Saturday, you'll have Arborotina Dart, Art of the Pilda, Megalotops, Arboraptor Gen 2, and or Willy Rhino. Like I said, with the commons, these ones have hybrids except for Megalotops and Arboraptor Gen 2, but there's video. You can easily obtain Megalotops DNA thanks to raids. So I recommend use your attempts on Wooly Rhino. Reason because it seemed like it's spawning less in the wild the other ones. Sunday you'll have one attempt to dart either Fuko Mimus, Panthea Pathetti, or Tissana Moth. By talking this video, these ones don't have hybrids yet. I recommend use your attempt on Panthea Pathetti. Reason because not only to get to level 20, but also grinds the DNA just in case if it gets a hybrid in your future. You may never know, Ludia could surprise you. Next week, Monday to Tuesday, you'll have Operating the Dart, Ardos, Sarvalis, Direwolf, and or Megalonyx. Now like I said, with the common epics, these ones have hybrids. Now I recommend use your attempts on Dire Wolf. Reason because to build a grind DNA on Anaconics, to get to not only level 25, but also to build a great DNA towards unlocking the Apex Hybrid and the Lycan. Getting to the Strike Towers, Wednesday, Staring Common Friendly, Staring Epic Beginner, Rare Strike Experience that will focus around Cervalis. You will also have a Standard Epic Experience. Thursday, Standard Rare Beginner, Standard Epic Experience, a Special Strike that will be Advanced, you also get yourself a stat boost strike advanced to focus around damage. Friday, standard common friendly, standard epic beginner, and a epic master strike that will focus around our to build up. You also got yourself a standard epic experience. Saturday, standard rare beginner, standard epic experience, an epic expert strike that will be happening uh, both Saturday and Sunday. Now for Sunday, you got standard common uh, friendly standard epic beginner and a staff boost strike advanced up focus around health the next week monday standard rare beginner standard epic experience a sense strike theme that'll be experience staff boost strike advanced up focus around speed and a rare strike that'll be advanced tuesday standard common friendly standard epic beginner and an epic expert strike. That's everything that the next event schedule has to offer. I gotta say, it's gonna be a lot of fun, and I recommend not skipping it. That's all the cover for today's video. Now, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and recovery here. Are you looking forward to the event schedule? Which future creatures are you personally planned on the most? Let me know your thoughts. I'd uh, hear it. Hopefully, you all did enjoy today's video and if you're watching, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, check my channel, subscribe bell for more content and videos, and as usual, see you all in the next video until next time. Hopefully, you all are staying safe, being healthy, and most important of all, keeping each other safe.